Sir? About Nosia? Definitely not now, Initiate. Whatever plans the Grand Magnus has, I'll get them directly from her. I get the feeling you won't like them. It's... not my call. Good. With the most dangerous man alive just strolling into the Palathon briefing room from a thousand miles away through some spatial overlap warping spell that no one's ever seen before. I guess you're not. I'm just saying there's a lot to unpack there. Okay, I I'm gonna go. Wait, Jack, l listen. I know you have a grudge, to put it probably too lightly, with Sandrak for what he did to your home. But... But don't... Well, you know, let all that cloud your judgment when we try and... <laughs> backstab him at Nosea. There's no word, really, for the kind of power he wields. Yeah, I can't make any promises as far as Sandrak's concerned. He and I get history. Are you serious? Kirken and Sandrak worked alongside each other for nearly 20 years. That's history. Was it longer? Sandrak used to plan battle operations in this very room before he went to the other side. Back to Rasharn's side. But he's Rasharnian. How did all that work? Long story. But my point is, this room's got more history with Sandrak than you do. Just... just don't let your emotions get the better of you. I'm sorry. I really need to get it together. Foreign magics are difficult to scrub out of a breach zone on the best of days. I need you to take that portal stone to Selko, Jack. Step to it. Kirkin didn't say what that thing does. Probably better you don't know, sir. Is it though? If you got captured. Sure, sure. It's just, if I knew the whole plan, it could be helpful, since I'm like, part of the plan. Am I right? You have a point. You aren't going to tell me, are you? Nope. Great. See you around, Captain. Jack, Kirkin's asking for an update. I delivered the portal stone to Captain Selko. What's next? Rendezvous with the rest of us at Nosea. Our parlay with Sandrak is imminent. Parlay? What? Never heard anyone actually use that word. It's the nerves. Uh-huh. See you soon. Can I call dibs? Not the time, Jack. So, what's the plan? To know, this all feels a bit improvisational, if I'm being honest. You bring no banner? Didn't feel the need. 
I held a small hope you might see reason. Yet you remain the same Kirken that made me abandon the Immortals years ago. Obsessed with victory. Stranger to compromise. Your eye ever bent towards the world's ruin. And you just want to save it. I can. With this. Its mastery over the font means I can end the war. You mean win the war. By turning the rest of us defenseless. In our every meeting, a yipping pup. Jack's right, though. You're not worthy of that power, Sandrak. Your airships bomb the free cities of the East and then wonder why they resist you now? The last order that surrendered to Rasharn, you burned their ambassadors alive. If my eye is ever bent towards the world's ruin, it's because I'm trying to stop the man causing so much of it. Please, don't make me do this. Captain Selko. You went mad. You didn't abandon us. You were exiled. And I'm still paying the price for not killing you. Remember, this blood is on your hands. It's the wound! He's moving it! We have to go! Now! Fall back! Devin. Jack, glad you're on your feet. That could have been so much worse. It took ages, but Zandara was finally able to dig you out of the rubble. Oh, no, not her. I rather would have died. I'm never living that down. Nope. Never. How many did we lose? Considering Sandrak just dropped a city into the wound, surprisingly few. But enough to have made his point. Kirkens left for Lavenry to talk with the king. He wants a full surrender after Nosea. There's even talk that Kirkin's emergency powers may be rescinded. So who's in charge? Uh, Zendara. And I'll warn you, she's in a bit of a mood. Kind of on brand for her. I heard that! Whoops. Meet us in the war chamber, Jack. We've come to the conclusion that we're in desperate need of a plan. Glad to see you, Captain Selko. After what happened at Nosea, I wasn't sure who... Well, who made it. Sir. Everything okay? That's a dumb question, isn't it? My husband lost his son at Nosea. It was a disaster. And I... Well... He was one of the many soldiers I brought through with the portal stone. I'm so sorry, Captain. But no one knew how powerful Sandrak had become. That's not on you. Don't. There's no scenario where I'm blameless in this. Do you want to talk about it? You probably don't want to know how I really feel. My thoughts aren't very kind towards the Magni at the moment. I'm afraid I might speak out of place. So these unkind thoughts are just, what, against all of the Magni then? That doesn't seem fair. With respect, sir, I find the notion of a Magnus feeling they're getting unfair treatment from a Lightless to be... Keep going. ...to be outrageous. Nosea happened because of the Everwar, not the Magni. They're one and the same, sir. You were right. None of this was very kind at all. Forgive me, sir. 
I'm just still shaken by the whole ordeal. I'll find myself in time. Kirkin may be gone, but our job's still the same. Eliminating Sandrak and his hold over the fonts. There are five, right? He can't have them all yet. We may not know what the Binding Stone does or how Sandrak uses it, but we can try and keep him away from the rest if all of us just... What? The fonts are hidden from us, Jack. Invisible. Buried in the liminal spaces where the borders between Avium and the Shrouded Realm are weakest. We only know the location of two. The Palathon is actually built around one. And the other is in the Tower of Masks in Risharn. Which means Sandrax already used the Binding Stone to absorb its power. We have to assume he has. Technically, we now know the location of three fonts. But the one in the Pale Forest is, well, you saw what happened to it. So that leaves the last two, and only Sandrak knows where they are. Fine. We pin that. We concentrate on the Binding Stone instead. We know where that is. We just need to learn how to shut it off. And fast. Not necessarily. According to my research, a Thradical takes a huge toll on its possessor. Sandrak will have to rest before doing another stunt like that. We may have a little time. Which leads us to former Grand Magnus, Thaddeus. Kirkin's predecessor, now in exile. The oldest of us that still lives. By all accounts, he was an expert on Aristea. If there's a weakness to the very Aristean Binding Stone, he'll know about it. In theory. Mmm, sticky wicket, the situation with Thaddeus. That's not important. Kind of feels like it is. What Zendara means to say is it doesn't matter that Thaddeus hates the Immortals and everything we stand for because you'll undoubtedly figure out a way to convince him to help us. And a bonus potential setback because the universe is cruel. Like the remaining fonts, we also don't know where Thaddeus is. His last known location was the Sky Islands of Oriman, digging through the archives at the Library of Akoth. Okay, then what are we waiting for? I go to Oriman, make nice with a friendly librarian. Actually, getting to Oriman is difficult, Initiate. You're gonna need to learn how to ride a ley line. Devin, you're running support. Walk Jack through what he needs to do to get airborne. Ready when you are, Jack. Sir, about Oriman, and what's his name? Thaddeus? Were the mission parameters unclear? No, sir. I just figured some more intel never hurts. It hurts time, Initiate. Do you want to hurt time? I don't know much about Oriman. Never been that far west in any of the fighting. That's because Oriman dropped out of the Everwar a long time ago. Even before then, they remained largely neutral. Then their magical experiments cut them off from the rest of the kingdoms, and it didn't much matter anymore. Cut off how? I don't have time to give you a history lesson. Devon can catch you up. All you need to know at present is that the Oromic made it a bitch to get out to them. Hence your need to ride a ley line. And what about the Oromic themselves? What's left of them are nomads, migrating from one sky island to another in search of arcanum deposits. Also, they can be a pain in the ass to deal with when you're an outsider. The guy I'm looking for, our former Grand Magnus, does he really hate the Immortals? The feeling's mutual. Your job is to ignore all that and find out what he knows about the Binding Stone. It'd be so much easier to ignore if I knew what it actually was. Nice try. Sir, come on. Thaddeus was Kirkin's mentor. Sandrax, too, in a way. Then he bailed on the Order for reasons you don't need to know, leaving Kirkin to fill his position when she really didn't feel ready for it. She was a huge fan of that. At least you're sending the new guy to navigate through all the complicated drama. All right, I'm good. Heading out. Don't fuck this one up, Initiate. You'll need a special spell to properly ride the ley lines, and a strong stomach. Why? What's this spell like? Like Lash, only more panic, vertigo, and fear of heights. Fortunately, there's a Shroud Fane in the Harrows where you can find one. The Harrows over in Havenshire? Got it. Alright, I'll be quick. But hey, 
You okay? We never really got to talk about what happened at Nusia. They're hard for me to pass, honestly. My feelings on all of that destruction. Call me when you have the spell and I'll tell you where we go from there. Don't think I have a spell for that.
don't think I have a spell for that. Devin, where do I head next? I've got the spell I need to ride the ley lines. Splendid. The ley line we need to get to Oroman is close by. Heading your way then. Some view, huh? If magical post-apocalyptic vistas are your thing. What the hell happened out there? The Gateront. Mix stupid ideas with bold, magical experiments and blow your own kingdom to pieces. Wait, they did it to themselves? Indeed. So, the mission. Go to the archives at the library of Akoth in Oriman. See if we can find any trace of Thaddeus and find out if he knows anything about the Binding Stone. You ready to leave now? Or do you want to go over other mission intel? So the Gateron, huh? All I'd heard about Ormen was that they gave up fighting in the Everwar, what, 20 years ago? More or less. They basically ground themselves to sand. They didn't so much give up as vanish awkwardly from the stage. What happened? A populist faction with a fiery name that I can't remember took over the Ormen government. They advocated for an equal ownership of magic. Not just between Magni, but among the Lightless as well. They believed that by distributing magic evenly, the world would finally be able to work towards an end to the Everwar. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, look where it got them. I... Uh, maybe? Part of me absolutely can. Dynastic magical traditions, thousands of years old, versus some upstart idea of shared magic that results in the destruction of roughly a fifth of the continent? I'll trust my overly stringent forebearers. Thank you very much. Back at the Palathon, it felt like you really wanted to tell me something about Thaddeus, but Zendara wouldn't let you. He's a touchy subject, and Zendara's very protective of Kirken. She'd be happy if we never talked about him at all. Thaddeus and Kirken, they hate each other, more or less. You know about our secret duty as stewards of Lucia? The Immortals' mandate and such? Yeah. I poke around. I snoop. Tremendous deficit of character, I know. Evidently, there's another more deeper, extreme version of that mandate that only the Grand Magnus and their immediate confidence know about. Some task they're expected to do at some point. Turns out Thaddeus resigned as Grand Magnus and exiled himself before doing this super secret thing. Whatever it is. I think I'm good to go. After you. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I could get used to that. Give me a portal any... day. There's a very high vomit probability for me right now. 
Suck it up, buddy. We need to get to Jack. Jack, this is Devin. Thanks for the assist. Uh, well, what's your name? Kenzie. You're Lucians, aren't you? Also, Immortals. Just to be clear. Is that a literal thing? What? No. Uh, we can die. It's just Good. like... Good. Then stay back. Hey, 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 watch it! Jack, I may have neglected to mention that the Ormic are notoriously territorial underneath their bohemian facade. Oh, that's rich. Coming from a pampered classist jackboot masquerading as some champion of justice. <clears throat> Look, we're just looking for someone that was here a little bit ago. I love neo-anarchist Pablum as much as the next weak need revolutionary. But I think we can both admit it loses its luster when it ultimately results in the destruction of your entire kingdom. That's not what happened. And you imperialist fuckos know it. Oh, did I say kingdom? I'm sorry. I meant a failed collective that's now just a stretch of gravity-challenged rocks. Maybe the next wrong-headed egalitarian social experiment with magic fares a bit better than all of this unchecked calamity. Wow. Does he always love to hear himself talk this much? Well... Jack? I mean, I can't say no. Look, how about we table the culture clash for a bit, huh? We came here on a mission to keep Sandrak from winning the Ever War. Maybe you can help us. Who? You know what? Scratch that. It's not like I care who wins that stupid war. The sooner someone does, the sooner you can all get out of Ormen. You... You don't know who Sandrak is. Nope. But I figure since you're Lucian, he's from Asharn. Same thing, really. Different flags. Same oppressive totalitarian magic-hoarding police state. Am I doing it right? Unhelpful. You're on your own. Mind the road. These chronicler constructs are everywhere. Started spilling out of the library months ago. And you'll be happy to know that there are plenty of Rasharnians around, too. You can keep trying to prove which one of you has the right to determine the lives of the rest of us. Hey, wait up. We really are here to save the world. Let her go. With the Rasharnians and these chroniclers about, we really could use someone that knows the territory. I'll catch up with her and... Be nicer? Good plan. You push forward to the library and we'll meet you there. She'll come around. Chroniclers.
What is all that webbing? Is it metal? I can grapple over there.
That's a whole lot of lurge. Turns out, still wants nothing to do with me. Super. So she bailed again. She did. But I managed to learn that the Sky Librarians built the Chronicler Constructs to serve as assistants in some great undertaking that ultimately went pear-shaped. By which I mean, the Constructs killed them all in a bloody uprising. Everyone? So, there's no one at the library to ask about Thaddeus. And yet, you'll persevere. For my part, I'm going to hunt down and destroy as many of the Chroniclers as I can. They're too close to the Lucian border for my life. Copy that. Meet me at the library when you can. Yeah. 
this metal shit. Dissolving the big metal, uh, nodes clears patches of it up. Good to know. Devin, I keep coming across some weird swirling metal material. Any idea what it is? I've seen it before. Constructs often take their embedded instructions and improve on them to do their jobs better and faster. Sometimes they leak those instructions. It comes out of them like uh, metallic sweat. You mean learning? They leak learning. Sure. Invariably, it bubbles out and just makes a mess. Constructs are usually broken down before it happens. The fact that there's so much well, leakage around here means these chroniclers have probably become very, very smart. Find a way inside.
found the entrance to the archives yet? Ah, uh, I think so. Right behind a big-ass pile of that mined metal shit. The Chroniclers blocked it off? Why? How would I know? I'll try to clear a path.
some of the door is unblocked. clear now.
What you doing? Again, with this. My friend put an invisible ward on the lock that'll blow your hand clean off. We didn't want the chroniclers down here, or thieves, or spies from another... He's right behind me, isn't he? Yeah. My friend is the interesting bit, wouldn't you say, Jack? Invisible wards are a pretty complex bit of business to conjure up. Also, please put that down. Nice craftsmanship, by the way. Surely it's not local. Your friend wouldn't be named Thaddeus, would he? Why, you here to kill him? What? No. Why would you think that? Thaddeus said some Lucian assassin goons might turn up looking for him. Said he ran afoul of the downright tyrannical bylaws their order of magic swears by. Thaddeus led that order. He was an immortal. Before he decided to abandon his post, that is. Does he really talk like that? Look, we just want to talk to the guy. Can you take us to him? Please? Thaddeus isn't here. Abandon that post, too. Come on. There are some things behind that might help you. Look at us! Friends now! United through the sense of abandonment by an authority figure. Thaddeus is a real asshole, you know that, right? He said he was gonna help me restore the library, that we'd figure out a way to clear all the chroniclers out. And we almost did it. Right up until he found the archives down here. Why do you leave? Never really cared to find out. What kind of trouble was he in with you guys? I mean, I know that Lucium's pretty... <laughs> Never mind. It was before our time. She was going to say fascist. Lucium's fascist. Is that why you and Thaddeus hit it off out here in the anti-conformist frontier? Horman was a commune, jackass. That's as conformist as you can get. Magic was shared by everyone here, not just those that made sure they were born with it. We're here. Thaddeus was, uh, <sighs> messy. Maybe something here will tell you where he went. Aha! This is his last journal, and I really have to say thank heavens for multiply underlined map coordinates. He says he's going to Pentac 4.5 to, um, 357. That's in Kalthus, right around... Oh, no. He went to Mount Dresnia, assuming he got past the Rashanians, and assuming he got past the Underdwell. Past the Magic Eaters. The Alori. It's said a very large contingent of them make the Underdwell their home. <laughs> this is madness, Jack. We can't go there. We're Magni. The Alori will kill us on the spot. A lot of good eating on a madness. Sandrak's still out there with the Binding Stone. And Thaddeus may be the only one that knows how to stop him. We're assuming Thaddeus is alive. Well, you are. I most definitely think he's extra dead. We don't have a choice. Well... <laughs> If you're really going to risk walking into a den of magic hungry demons, I can take you to a ley line that'll lead you directly to Kalthus. All right, let's do it. Devin, you stay here. Hunt down the rest of the chroniclers getting too close to Lucium. You can catch up with me later. Will do. Be careful, Jack. Thanks for your help, Faithless Rebel. Anything to get you off my islands, bootlicker. For real, though, we appreciate it. I know you'd rather stay out of all this, but I've seen Sandrak absorb a ley line and move the wound. No one can afford to ignore the Everworn now. Just watch me. It's sad that you're caught up in it all, because you're really hot. Good luck finding the old man. On to Kalthus.
Sir, I've reached Kalthus, and I'm en route to Mount Dresnir by way of the Underdwell. Say, you're from around here. What do you know about the Alori? They're elder demons that the Old Kingdoms banished came to the Earth. They feed on magic, and really, really magnite. So, about the same as everyone else knows. They're a threat to the natural order, Initiate. Cursed by the Pentasad to live out their poisonous existence in the clutch of a hungry darkness. Is that better? I'd workshop it. So, what am I looking for exactly? Just look for a mining operation, smartass. It was abandoned once they accidentally dug into the Alori Caves and got... eaten. Eaten? Awesome.
Shen will seize you.
Here we go. Devin, I've made it to the Underdwell. No sign of Thaddeus yet, or the Alori. The fact that you can even use your Farkle Stone bodes well for you. An Alori absorbs all magic around it like a horrible walking sponge. It's no wonder the Magni dynasties drove them underground long ago. They are... ghastly. You aren't exactly reassuring me here. Steady on, Immortal. pressure plate.
can't kill it. I gotta get out of here before it recovers.
Jack, report in. Hello? Jack? Jack? Dev? Dev? Shit.
some kind of settlement. And it looks like I gotta get down there. Can you hear me? I can, for the moment. I'm in some kind of a lorry temple, I think. There are these murals everywhere with the Penasad in them, and that feels kind of weird. Thaddeus mentioned in his journals that the Alori held an odd veneration of it. Really? Do you have any guesses as to why? Just because they absorb our magic and love to devour us whole, does that necessarily preclude them from idolizing the very embodiment of magic? That said, I wouldn't spend too long trying to deepen your understanding of a lorry art, Jack. You should just... Devin! Damn it! I think I need to animate that statue.
this is the right way. Exciting day for you. Name's Rook. Jack. You think we can talk without you, you know, throwing me around, Rook? You gotta understand, it takes a minute for all of this to congeal. To see you clearly. Communication with humans and effort when we come from two different parts of existence. I'll get there. Point is, though, it's dangerous for you here. A large and terrible part of me hates you to the bone. Hundreds and thousands of years pouring into that part. Yeah, I don't know what to do with all that, considering you just saved my life. Why didn't you try to eat me like your buddies? I don't need the heat that might come down on us if we killed one of you fancy order magni. Same reason I didn't do your friend in. Who? You're looking for that wizard. I see the connection. Uses his as an ashtray now. Real put-upon face, this guy. Thaddeus? Can you take me to him? Could do. Give me a cigarette. Help yourself, I guess. Hmm. We're agreed. You owe me one. For the save back there. Sure. Yeah. Sounds fair. The bill will come due. Double if I take you to your boy, Thaddeus. Which I will. If you tell me a thing, how long are we supposed to hold it against you? I don't... I... hold what? <clears throat> okay, I think the old... Uh, needs a few more minutes in the oven. Forever! That's the word you're looking for! Forever's how long you'll be unforgiven. See, I told you I'd get there. I see you clearly now. Come on, let's go. No absolution for you till the sun goes out. Wizards this way. These favors I'm gonna owe you. Anything you have in mind? Still thinking on it. Got a whole colony to look after. Gotta weigh some options. So you're like a special Alori. What? Like special than a head? No, no, no. I, I mean like... Like maybe you're their boss or something. Or something. You ain't got a word for it. You're just like that. He's all quizzical and shit. One question after another. lead you out just in case one of my boys decides to jump you. Lead the way. Oh, wait. Before I forget, I can smell the lightless on you, too. Just wanted you to know that was never supposed to happen. Sad that it did. Again, your fault, but still. What, lightless becoming Magni? The unforeseen aren't supposed to happen? No. You were all supposed to be Magni. That's how the Pentasad wanted it. So what did happen? You tell me. You went and done fucked it up somehow. The plan was magic for everyone. Maybe you just like it better this way. Humans do have a lot of... Tr magic for everyone. What? That funny to you? No, no, I just... 
Ran into someone a little while back. That was kind of her dream. Was she Ormic? Sounds Ormic. I mean, yeah. Bunch of chuckleheads, the lot of them. Also, I bet she didn't include no Alori in that real big dream of hers, did she? Not specifically. Of course not. Fucking Ormic. All tie, no shirt. Let's go. Shitting me. What? A lot of you wizards like lava. Who told you that? Thought it was a union thing. Anyway, that's his place. Hmm. What's that? Jack, can you hear me? I can hear you, Dev. I was just about to report in. Hello? You're breaking up. Is your far pole stone working? Hello? Do you mind? Oh, that's much better. You must be out of the Underdwell then. You'll have to tell me all about it, and those dreadfully atrocious Alori creatures. Are they terrified of you now? Jack, hero of Yilthium Fields, Magnus and Shh, shut up. Scourge Shh, of the shut Underdwell. Up. Stay back, demon spawn, have at thee! Uh, uh what's happening? I, I don't like this. <laughs> ah! I found that ears and we'll get back to you, bye. Rook, hey, look, I'm sorry about my friend. Really, he's not like that. Sounded just like that. World's no different than it's ever been. Friends say a lot about you, kid. Give my regards to Thaddeus. Oh! A lava path. Who does this? I thought it was a union thing.
lines are being blocked. one.
Thaddeus isn't home. Mess. You're paying for this mess. I hope you got an inheritance coming. This is one of them for the rest of your natural born life type debts right here. I, uh, I really didn't mean to blow up your porch and whatever this room is supposed to be. I, I just came here to talk. My name's Jack. It's called a parlor, Jack, where you entertain guests. Would have done anyway, had I any actual burning desire to ever have guests. I need some coffee in here. I'm gonna box your ears, I swear. You want any? That'd be great. I really am sorry. I wish none of this had happened. If wishes were horses, beggars would ride. What's a horse? I don't know. Never seen one. Died out in the early parts of the war. That's what you're here about, right? I don't need a horse. No, dummy. The war. You a deserter? You look scared. What? No, I'm... Why would you think that? Some men's eyes. They got a little bunny in them. Yours do. Hopping around. Maybe not always. But right now. Something's got you scared out of your mind. We're going to lose the war. No one knows how to stop Sandrak, and... I'm afraid of what comes after. You should be. What he's done to Saren, to Kelthus, he wins, that's what he'll do to everyone. So how's he doing? Snuffing out the fonts. You know about that? Kid, I got scry stones in every damn corner of Avium. You start seeing ley lines winking out in all the wrong places, Gives you pause. If I had to guess, the world's poorer by about three fonts. Three? He got to another one? Oh, yeah. As soon as the font in Rasharn went dark, he must have beelined for the one at Kelthus. His occupation would have made it easy pickings. They're not really gone. Sandrax absorbed their power using some kind of artifact of Aristea. A binding stone. A throtocol. That's why I'm here. The Immortals believe you're the only one that might know what the stone really is. So, uh, Kirkin still hate me? I've heard she's not a big fan of yours, but, I mean, she's never mentioned you to me. Well, you gotta be new then. No, I've been her student for five years now. Well, she must be working up to it. This binding stone of yours. Look like this otherwise innocent bit of business, yeah? Yeah. It's that bad? Walk with me. Easier just to show you. Calm your tits. Won't hurt none, promise. How are you doing this? With Panache? It's called a mind walk. A trick I picked up in Rasharn back in the day. This is Rasharnian magic? What about it? Some of the most elegant and creative magni alive. Oh, don't let King Dipshit and his confederates spoil a barrel. Let me show you some history. This is Avium in the time of Aristea. A thousand years and some change ago. The wound? It's... Small. Yep. Just a teensy thing back then. We Magna hadn't gone buck wild yet. Aristea brought out the worst in us. And it's all because of this thing. A binding stone. They used it to commune with the fonts. And some idiot decided to use it to control them instead. Let's just say things got out of hand. Sandrak's doing the same damn thing. History grows a sequel. What are we looking at here? The place they built the binding stone, called a Shrine Forge. Suspected somewhere in Eastern Orman. You've got to give me something better than that. 
What if I could, son? Mormon's a damn big place. It doesn't help that it blew itself up some 20 odd years ago. Now, unless you got more questions, we can head back. Well, what's it gonna be? So that's the big secret of how Aristea fell. Just one more casualty of the Ever War? The lure of the Binding Stone was too much. We see magic, Jack. We eventually get greedy. Can't help ourselves but to sink down to our basest nature. Even the mighty Aristea could only keep its head up for a year or two. A year or two? Their ruins are everywhere, a whole cities of them. And they were way more advanced than ours. That can't be right. Aristea! The bastion of high learning and magical ingenuity. Capable of miracles, uncountable. They're magni, demigods among men. Yeah, that what you're talking about? Well... Don't know what to tell you, kid. Getting too close to magic turns us all dead stupid. It's like the Everwar is our natural state of it. Despite everything you've been told, Aristea was just a blip. When the Aristea used the Binding Stone to commune with the Fonts, what happened? They all about turned into little penisods in a manner of days. Spread their new magic know-how like brush fire until they were pulling cities out of the ground like it was nothing. Bunch of idiots. Who cares that it was causing the wound to grow at an exponential rate? Oh, they'd fix that later. Fix it later. <laughs> we haven't changed. Not one inch. I need to get back to the Palathon. Tell them what I found out. Fair enough. Wait a minute. You feel that? Feel what? Someone's in here with us. Hold on. What? Stay out of my way, Jack. Get down, kid! Son of a bitch! Uh, thanks. Go on, go after her! I'm not leaving you here! I'm done for, kid. She was in her minds. She gets away, Sandrak will know y'all are gonna go after the Shrine Forge. Got a catcher. the ley line. Oh, 
there. Please don't be you. How are you alive? No, don't. Why didn't you try to find me? Don't do that. Do what? Ask me a question you won't accept the answer to. How can you be with them? That's the one. I can't believe it. Jack! Report in, soldier. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm here, sir. I, um, I, I found out the Binding Stone was created in a shrine fort somewhere in eastern Oromon. No exact location, but it's a start. Bad news is, I think Daddy has died helping us find that out. I'm sorry, sir. I know you two were close. Don't blame yourself. I, uh, I had a tale. Sandrak will know we're coming for the Shrine Forge. That just means we'll come heavy. Return to the Palathon for mission planning. I see how it is. You're not going to even ask if I'm okay, or explain why my bloody face got pulled through a Farkle stone, or how you're evidently pals with an Alori now. Buddy, since I set out on this mission, I've had my politics questioned. My pants criticized, told my eyes were full of bunnies, and... And what? Oh, it's... nothing. It's... just been a lot, you know? We'll catch up when I get back.
Welcome back, sir. They're waiting for you in the war chamber. This is insane. The surface of Eastern Oriman is an endless desert. We'll never find the Shrine Forge this way. I'll switch back to the islands just above the Tempest Lair. The conquering hero returns. Hey, hero. See if you can make out anything but sand. Really with this? Already? Why are we looking at sand? Thaddeus gave me the history of Sandrak's Binding Stone. As you say, sir, it's some real end of time shit. The Aristea couldn't survive it. So our chances are on the wrong side of zero. Before he died, Thaddeus told me that the Shrine Forge used to create this Binding Stone was... Under all that sand. Maybe. He didn't specify whether it was on the surface, which is completely blasted by magical fallout, or the islands above, which stretch out forever west. Wait a second. Did you say Thaddeus died? Yeah. Um, the Hand of Sandrak was following me. Had a team of Nightblades with her, and... What matters now is that we have a location for a location. And that's better than yesterday. We find this Shrine Forge. We're one step closer to finding some weakness in Sandrak's hold over the Binding Stone. I'll break out our scrying records on Rasharnian troop movements in Oriman within the last year. You know, they say one after effect of being inside a massive volcano is dehydration. I'm just tired. Get some rest. Narrowing down this search to anything actionable is likely to take all night. I might have an idea on how to shorten that. This was extraordinary work, Initiate. Thank you, sir. Jack, hold up! Zendara's right. You do the Immortals proud, my friend. And it's great to see you back in one piece after that whole adventure. Thanks, Dev. It's good to see you too. Just now, when you were telling us about Thaddeus, I noticed something might have been distracting you. Really? Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure what you mean. Your face at one point, it was like you'd seen a ghost. Forgive me for prying. I'm sure- I, um, I saw someone I used to know and she's in trouble. Look, this isn't the place. But I'll fill you in when I can. What kind of trouble? This is not the place. Oh, right. Right you are. And, you know, keep it to yourself, okay? Why would you even have to ask that? You can't be serious. Point? I promise to keep it to myself. Also, I'm so very sorry if I embarrassed you in front of your Lori friend. Is friend the right word? I know I embarrassed myself. His name's Rook. But one thing at a time, Devin. I gotta head out. I haven't forgotten. I still owe you a conversation about Sandrak having been an immortal. But finding the Shrine Forge is priority one right now. You heard the Grand Magnus. Return to quarters, get some rest. alive. What? What am I supposed to do with that? Story for another day. It's the mind walk, isn't it? The spell went crazy, and now you and I can do this. I think so. How much can you see? Nothing, really. I see you, and the rest is just colors that can't hold their shape. 
I can only hear you too. <laughs> Don't worry, I can't spy on you or sneak into your war room. No, no, it's not that. I kind of just wanted you to see this room. The one they gave me, it's, I mean, it's crazy awesome. Super big. When you look glum like that, it reminds me of when the Upbridge gang stole your shoes. <laughs> Don't. Don't bring up Saren. Not like that. Tell me, have you ever seen the color Salamine? It only exists in Rashan. It's one of the first things I noticed when they took me here. Just stop, Luna. Rashan doesn't have its own colors. But it really does. Come visit me. You'll see. <laughs> How can you even ask me that? Because I miss my best friend. I want you to see what I've done here, who I am now. I have that farm I always used to talk about. Can you believe Rasharn it? Sharn almost killed you, Luna. I, I thought they did. For years. I, I thought you were dead. It's like when you nap too long out in the sun. When you open your eyes, everything's kind of blue, but all mixed in. Imagine that, and put a pearl inside. That's what the color Salomon looks like. You don't get it, do you, Jack? All you are is angry. I'm trying my best not to get angry. Angry that the next time we see each other, one of us is going to kill the other. I just wanted us to talk and forget about that for a minute or two. Luna, wait! everyone in the war chamber. Did we find the Shrine Forge? We might be close. I brought in a specialist to help crack the case. A specialist in Shrine Forges? No. In Oriman. Are they named Kenzie? Up and at him, sleepyhead! I was just taking Kenzie here to meet Zendara. I predict they'll get along famously, don't you? Uh, wait, 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 not yet. Wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> 